This is session one, part one. When uh, one of us here in this room passes into the spirit world, should the first thing that we do when we arrive be to um, continue with our uh, focus on our relationship with God and, and to ask for help? Of course, but it has to be sincere, Peter. And this is where even many in this room yet are yet to have a sincere desire for God. See, remember a prayer is actually a sincere, heartfelt emotion towards God. So unless I have a sincere, heartfelt desire to have a relationship with God, then I won't have one. Also, unless I have a sincere, heartfelt desire to get help, I won't get any help. It has to be driven by sincerity. Everything in the spirit world is driven by sincerity. Even the darkest of deeds is driven by sincerity. It's what they really want to do. So besides uh, the, the desire for truth, what's the spark that, you, that needs to ignite to cause that sincerity to occur? I don't know, Pete. If I knew that answer to that question, I would be convincing a lot more people about the divine truth. I've never heard you say that you didn't know an answer to a question. <laughs> no, I've, I've also said I don't know who made God. <laughs> okay. So those two questions I've got no idea the answer about. The, if I, my feelings are that uh, sincerity, unfortunately, with the way that things happen to us now, we sort of get beaten into submission before we develop sincerity. That doesn't need to be the case. And I, I'm often, I often wonder with Mary in our private discussions why people have to get to that point before they start becoming sincere. And to be frank, I, I don't really know why people have to have so much hardship in their life before they become sincere. Because I do not believe that is necessary to our sincerity. Thank you. It, mm. Is it easier to develop a relationship with God after you've passed? No. It's very difficult. Because if we are addicted to the pleasures and allurements of the world, imagine, it, just allow yourself to remember, remember this one thing when it comes to our spirit friends. Because you've got to have some compassion for them. right? Many of you are yet to have any compassion for them because you've not been in their position. When you arrive in the spirit world, you'll be in their position and then you'll start to have some compassion for, for them, perhaps. But what we want to do is to have compassion for them before then. Now, let's, let's look at what their situation is. Many times on the earth, they've had a difficult life, just like you have. They've had difficult situations and circumstances, just like you have. They've had a difficult uh, you know, upbringing, just like many of us have. They've had ma many choices in their life that they've made that have been out of harmony with love, and their soul has become darker as a result of those choices. This is all feelings that they now have within them they are feelings that are real that are sitting there inside of their soul that drive their actions now here on earth many of you the only reason why you don't take a particular action is because there's a law against it or you're afraid of public opinion about taking that particular action in the spirit world you will be attracted to a location where everybody has the same opinion as you. So if your opinion is, I'm allowed to be angry with men because all men are bastards, you're going to be attracted to a group of women who all believe they're allowed to be angry with men because all men are bastards. They are going to have exactly the same feeling as you. Now, can you imagine trying to get out of that feeling while you've got a thousand other women surrounding you who all have the same feeling? Can you imagine how difficult that would be? Very difficult. So there they are. I've now attracted a group of people that have exactly the same opinions, belief systems, and often the same history and life that I have had. How difficult is it going to be for me to get out of that position in comparison to getting out of position on earth? In addition, I now have unfettered restrictions. In other words, I can come and go on the earth as I please, 
See, on earth, when we're here, we have limitations, do we not? We have limitations of cost. We have limitations of time. We have limitations in terms that we have to earn a living, as we say. You know, we have to eat and we have to sleep. And there's certain things we have to do. Imagine you have none of those limitations for a moment. None. You, you didn't have to work. So all of that 40 hours a week that you spent working while you're on earth, you no longer have to spend working. Imagine that. How much free time does that give you to do exactly what you want? Right? Now, if exactly what you want is to get some addictions met, it gives you 40 hours more free time to get those addictions met. In, not only to, on top of that, you now don't have to pay money, fuel or a car or anything like that to get from A to B. You can just think your way from A to B. So I'm over here and I'm spending my time with Peter and all of a sudden I think, oh, that's right, Peter's got a cousin down in Melbourne. He's probably got the same addiction as Peter. Oh, bang, I'm there. And sure enough, he's got the same, ah, oh, there's two people now that I can get my stuff met through. Now, can you see, with all of those allurements and no restrictions, the majority of people would just go and do exactly what they want. And the majority of people who pass do exactly that. There is no law in the spirit world preventing you from doing exactly what you want even if what you want is very harsh and harmful. So let's just say that um, we all passed right now. What, what would be your best advice for us? <laughs> You've asked these kind of questions before, Peter. But uh, my best advice would be to understand that you have your best opportunity of developing sincerity while you're here. You have your best opportunity of understanding truth while you're here. You have your best opportunity of understanding and developing a relationship with God while you're here. It is far more difficult than you can imagine currently to develop these things when you arrive in the spirit world if you have no foundation in them at all. So my suggestion is before you pass, not after, before you pass, develop these things here. Right? That's the whole reason why myself and Mary came here because there is so much trouble for people who do, try to develop these things after they've left here. But if you are in the unfortunate circumstance where you have not developed these things here and you pass into the spirit world, you are going to be faced with a much more difficult time to develop those particular things. How, how is it then that the people who... Uh, 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 write messages for, in the Paget messages, uh, and how they um, they they end up in a f they start off in a fairly dark place, but in in a relatively short space of time, with the help of the the, the band of group who who, who are there, mm -hmm. they 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 make amazing progress and and, and seem to um, um, go to a, a much better place quite fast. I think you already know the answer to that, don't you, Pete? Like they are connecting with their friends, people they know, who they, can, who they trust, who have demonstrated to them through their own personal appearance the condition they're really in. And because of that influence, they progress positively. Oh, you know, I think it's more than that, Pete. I think it's exactly what you were just talking about before. At the time where they've really asked a question, they've developed a quality of sincerity. And it's the same for us here. When we're really sincere about growing, about our relationship with God, changes happen really rapidly. Some people stay in the spirit world for years and decades and centuries, some of them, before they develop sincerity. And when they develop it, they come to people, ask a sincere question, they get a sincere answer, and, and they're off. 
And but Pete, I think you're also selectively reading the Paget messages, to <laughs> yes. be frank, because there are many experiences in the Paget messages where people have, where higher spirits have gone to a person who's in a lower condition and said, oh, they just don't want to hear, they don't want to listen, they don't want to understand. And remember, there was one experience of a man who said, it's very hard to learn of heavenly things while you're in hell. Yeah. Right? And so we need to understand the messages as a whole system, not just just a few of the messages. But that's enough questions for you now. <laughs>